In here, Nola. Hurry. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Are you all right? Oh, that, yes, I'm fine. I got your message. Is it urgent? Oh, it's just the most monumental find of the century. I mean, what did the you archaeological find? world is going to be set on its ears. No, look, look, look. It's better here. Look. Have you ever seen anything like it? Sharon Stone. Sharon Stone? My hands are that soft? Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, I like a woman who's funny. Oh, yes, yes, and I like a man who's funny. Well, this is for you. For me? Yeah, it sort of matched your, your dress, you know. Thank you. Oh, you're it's welcome. beautiful. You're welcome. Uh, is a sunflower? Yes. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about something. What was it? Um, oh, yes. You know, you, you know company? Mm -hmm. It's 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 the restaurant that's right next to the boarding house. Oh right, right. All the people at the hospital used to eat there. Right. Well, it's being closed for renovation. Uh huh. But now it's got new food and new music and you know new everything. Oh, it sounds nice. Well, what would be really nice is uh, you know, if you'd be my date for the opening. So, Zachary, if you're not a hero, who are you? I wish I had something interesting to tell you, but I don't. I'm just me. No. There's something much more, I don't know, about you. I think you have a great imagination. Don't try and worm out of it. I'm not going to give up until I find out all about you. You know, you have a great smile when you're being so mean. <laughs> you know, you saved my life, and I don't even know your last name, or where you're from, or even if you have any brothers or sisters. What is it? What are you trying to hide? I know for a fact that Vivian Grant did not shoot me. And you're certain of that? Yes, I am. How, Mr. Williams? How after the gun that was used to shoot you was found in her car? How after it became public knowledge that she blamed you for the breakup of her marriage? How she hated you for ruining her relationship with her daughter? How could you possibly know Vivian Grant didn't shoot you? Because I know who did. You were lying in a pool of blood. You could not know who shot you. I do know. Then why didn't you tell us before? I'm telling you now. Your Honor, this is highly irregular. I request a recess. Just a minute, Counselor. Mr. Williams, do you have information that will shed light on this case? Yes, Your Honor, I do. I need the request is denied. In the denied, case, denied, Mr. Robinson. I will not waste the taxpayers' money if we could get quickly to the bottom of this case. The court has a right to know the truth. Go ahead, Mr. Williams. This portion of Guiding Light is presented by Pantene Pro-V Shampoo and Pro-V Treatment Conditioner for hair so healthy it shines. Go ahead, Mr. Williams. You have tantalized us. We're all waiting to hear what you have to say. I never should have stayed in Springfield. It was too dangerous. I had a history here. It was a part of my life that was over. I should have stayed over. But then Charles Grant arranged for me to receive a teaching position at the university. I believe with all my heart that it was a gift of fate, a reason to stay in town and a chance. Maybe the the only chance I had left of getting to know my son. 
for him to get to know me. See, I've always been a father, but never much of a parent. Your Honor, would you please tell Mr. Williams to get to the point? If he knows who shot him, then why doesn't he quit wasting our time and tell us? I will, Your Honor. But if you could be patient, I'd, I'd appreciate a moment to explain myself. Very well. Your Honor, the tax. This is a hearing, Mr. Robinson, not a trial. I have no problem in allowing Mr. Williams some leeway. You may go ahead, Mr. Williams. Yeah, yeah. I never knew Marcus very well, but I always loved him very much. He's an extraordinary young man, extremely talented. No thanks to me, I... I walked out of him when he was very young. I was so wrapped up with my own needs, my own ambitions. But then one morning I woke up and I realized that I was alone. I desperately wanted a chance. I wanted to find a way to get to know my son again. It was all I thought about. So I... Uh, I put aside whatever reservations I may have had. And I decided to stay in town. In retrospect, I wish I hadn't. Well, I don't know. It looks like a piece of pottery oh, to me. It's more than that. Well, here, let me see. Now, be careful. It All is right, priceless. Right, be careful. Be careful. Where did you find it? Right where you told me to look. No. Yes, really? I'm serious. No. I just started to dig, and then there it was. Oh, for heaven's sake. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Well, what do you think? Well, I don't know. I don't know. Come on, look closer. All look. right, all right, all right. There seem to be some... Right over something here. scratches right, right on the other here. side. Right, right I don't there. know. I mean, it's... Yes, yeah, right there. See? Yes. See? Little symbol? Well, I see. It's something there. It scratches or... Oh, come on, Nola. You know, a little Teshao. Come on. Well, I mean, it seems to be symbols for something. I don't know what. I... Oh, please, please, don't be so modest. You learn half that language in one course at the university. Well, I remembered it when we were working together. I don't remember please, it anymore. Please, just read it. All right, all right. Is this what I think it is? <sighs> so what do you say? You want to come with me on a date? Please, please say yes, please. I'll take my flower back, I will. Okay. Please. If you really want me to, I will. Thank you. Thank you. I have hands like Sharon Stone. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Okay. All right. Um, uh, you know, dress uh, casually. Okay. And um, that's it. Be ready to party. Okay, fine. Right. Oh, thank you. I'm the doctor now. That's for saying yes. <sighs> yes. I'm telling you, I am no mystery man. Trust me. Then, what's your last name? Zachary what? Smith. Smith? Yeah. It's a perfectly respectable name. Smith. Uh, somehow I was expecting something a little more exotic sounding. Smith. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but it is just plain old Smith. I'm not disappointed, just surprised, that's all. Okay, next question. Where are you from? No, don't tell me, let me guess. You kind of look like a surfer. Is it someplace in California? No, dude. <laughs> Hawaii? Sorry. Okay, wait, don't tell me, I'll get it, I'll get it. Michelle, um, Michelle, Michelle, I need you right now in the doctor's lounge. We're not finished with this yet. Got two states down and 48 to go. Look, I don't want to drag her away too much, but that clutch, you know, the one with the blue hair, that orderly? <laughs> he rammed it a stack of files. I need someone I can trust uh, to sort them out. Great, sure. Sorry.
Well, I don't know. It seems to refer to, I mean, it might refer to the tribe's sacred object. I don't yes, know. Yes, yes. For years, archaeologists have you speculated about it, but we've never had any proof. Until now. Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, you know, I wish I could remember something about each tribe had a sacred object, but nobody knew what it was, and... Well, it, it was it was so sacred, they never called it by That's its real right, name. nothing was written about it or anything like that. I know, it could refer to hidden gold, a, a pathway to the afterlife, or, or perhaps even the uh, secret to happiness. So, what are you going to do now? What are you going to do next? Well, this is my first major find in years. I'm gonna go to the top of the tent and shout it to the stars. Oh, no, you're not. Go on, Mr. Williams. Well, at first, I was, I was heartened by the reception I received. Everybody wanted my opinion, my, my, my input. When I was asked to help in the fight against Alan Spaulding, I found a community of wonderful, hopeful people who are being pushed aside by greed. Alan Spaulding didn't care how much time and effort people like Buzz Cooper and his wife had put into their community. Or the fine young police officer like Frank Cooper was trying to make the streets safe to raise his daughter. Or that several of these families had lived in this, in this area for generations. He just wanted them out so he could raise one of his fancy developments. I was more than happy to put my name and my weight behind this cause. For a while, we were winning. In fact, we almost had the entire opposition shut down completely. That is until Alan Spaulding decided to turn my personal heartache into tabloid fodder. And I assume you're referring to the uh, compromising situation in which you found yourself with your daughter. Yes, I am, Your Honor. Except I never seduced her. Alan Spaulding made that up so he could splash my name across the front pages of every sleaze paper in this country. He turned me into a clown. My credibility was gone. But personally, I, uh, I figured I could handle it. I'd been down before. I'd recover in time. But my daughter, Jilly, and the people of Fifth Street were devastated. They put their faith in me and I'd let them down. All the hard work they put in to save their community was gone. Now all they could do was stand by while Alan Spaulding rolled his, his bulldozers and his wrecking balls into place. Watch their homes be ravaged, their, their, their towns, their churches. It just wasn't fair that these good people should have to pay for my mistake. I was sinking them, suffocating them. Their entire lives were chained to me and I was a huge dead weight. I couldn't let these good people go down like that. I knew I had to do something, something, something big, something radical. But when I am, uh, when I first got the idea, I fought it with every fiber of my being. I couldn't believe that I'd sunk this low. But I guess, I guess I figured it was the only way. Fight them on their own level. And the people of Fifth Street would have a chance. Mr. Williams, who shot you? We all saw the videotape. Mr. Williams did not shoot himself. I'm not lying to you. 
I want you to listen to me carefully, Mr. Williams, because I need to advise you of your rights. You're under no obligation to incriminate yourself at this hearing, but should you choose to do so, I strongly suggest that you have an attorney here to advise you. No, Your Honor, I don't need an attorney. I know what I'm doing. I strongly advise you to take a few minutes and think this over. No, I have to answer for what I've done. Fine. Proceed. My bodyguard fired the shot. Oh. If I have to ask anyone here to be silent again, I'm going to clear this courtroom. Your Honor, this testimony is nothing more than a thinly veiled attempt to protect the real criminal in this case, Mrs. Grant. No, it's not. Everyone knows she's his ex-lover. I'm telling the truth, Mr. Robinson. Vivian Grant did not shoot me. Rashid didn't want to do it either, but he's very loyal. I manipulated him. No, stop saying that. You couldn't have wanted to do that. It's insane. Maybe, it's insane. It's insane. Your Honor, oh, I still me, maintain please. that as her ex-lover, Mr. Williams' testimony is less than credible. I'm not lying. Then I'm sure your bodyguard will corroborate your statement. Rashid's already left the country. That's convenient. I can collaborate my own statement. Your Honor, that's impossible. You're looking for facts, Mr. Robinson? Proof that I engineered my own shooting? The rifle that was used to shoot me, its serial number was gone, filed off. Also, there are two distinct scratches right next to the sighting, parallel to each other, about an eighth of an inch apart. Look at the facts, Your Honor. You'll see for yourself. Bailiff, would you bring in the rifle? Rashid and I took it off a couple of gang members the day before the shooting. We made sure it was untraceable. Two parallel scratchings next to the sighting and a filed off serial number. There's no way I could have known that if I hadn't seen the gun beforehand. But you almost died. You couldn't have wanted to kill yourself. You couldn't have. I didn't want to die, Vivian. Rashid was just supposed to nick me in the shoulder. But I stupidly raised my arm at the exact moment he fired. I guess the only question left to ask is why? Well, pride, maybe. But mostly I did it to get my reputation back. And it worked. After I was wounded, everybody thought I was a martyr. They couldn't think of enough nice things to say about me. Hey, Mr. Williams, you were fine with that. I got the sympathy back for the people of Fifth Street. That's what was fine with me. So you have to understand, my skill, everything I have to offer is based on people having respect for who I am, for the pressure that I can bring to bear on, on certain individuals, politicians, Anyone who has the power to help those who can't fully help themselves. I give them their voice. Sometimes I'm all they've got. Alan Spaulding took that away from them. I took it back. Your Honor, <clears throat> in light of this new information, I move that the charges, all charges against my client, be dropped immediately. Mr. Robinson, any objections? No, Your Honor. The state has no objections. Very well, then. Mr. Marler, all charges against your client have been dropped. Thank you, Your Honor. Mrs. Grant, you're free to go. What about Griffin? Be because a scientist doesn't go saying anything about his discovery until he's absolutely 100% sure. You're I mean, right. you know, and you've told me that. It's hundred times if oh, I'm sure you I have. Did, I mean, yes. here you are on the verge of, of what a, a major discovery. You just can't go shout. You know, you have to keep it hush hush and until you're absolutely sure that everything is fully documented. Yes, you're right. Yo, what do you think? Do you, perhaps there might be more pieces around. Well, I don't know. I mean, it looks like from the way it's broken, it could be. <clears throat> I don't know, four or five, it's a pot. I don't That's know, six pieces. an awful lot pieces. of digging before the first frost. I know, and you, you have to hurry. You know, you have to be fast. I can't do it myself all with the no, digging Jay and the... Help. Jay no, I want that young man to concentrate on school. School, you're right. School, who could help you? Who could help you? A grad student. Oh, no. Jessica could help you. No, I uh, think she'd help you in a flash, in a pinch, in a minute, in a... Would you please stop with the oh. Jessica stamps? You know, there is one person who could help me with this. Who? You. Will you do it? Hey. Hi. Abby. You want a sec? Sure. What's up? Um, this is kind of private. 
Ooh, what's going on? You met Zachary at the house. Yes. Right. I met him and I liked him. He's very nice. Yeah, well, I like him too. Oh. More than like him. Oh. Zachary is so wonderful, Abby, not to mention the most gorgeous guy I've ever seen. Ooh, more gorgeous than Jay, then, huh? Oh, please. Jay is so past history, it's not even funny. Well, he's definitely very cute. Yes. Except, I think he's a little older than I am. Oh, well, just a few years. You're right. He probably thinks I'm just a kid or something like wait, that. Wait, 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 wait. I, I can't understand you. What? Oh, he, he probably thinks I'm a kid. No, well... Did he say something to you about that? No, not about that. Okay. Not about much at all. He's so cool, you mm -hmm. know? And he listens to me. <laughs> well, it sounds like he likes you. But what if he's just being nice, Abby? Oh, come on. How do I find out whether I have a chance with him or not? Without totally making a fool out of myself. Well, it's just funny because I think you've come to the best person for advice. Oh, Really? Oh, yes. <laughs> I am the number one person to be making a fool of myself. Remember when I was spying on Rick to find out who he liked? Yeah, by mistake, you thought he liked Sharon Stone. Yes, exactly. <laughs> well, I was just miserable for months. Well, so is Rick. But what does that have to do with me? Well, you should not play games, because that is the worst thing you can do. So what do I do? You should be honest. Honest. Yes. Like what? You mean, ask him? Yes. Well, no. I mean, tell him that you like him and see what he says. I can't. Oh, come on. Why not? That's not how it's done. Why not? Well, why didn't you do that with my brother? Because. Because. That's not how it's done. Right. Well. Maybe you could talk to him. Oh, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Ask him some no. leading questions. No, 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 no. Forget it. I'm terrible at that. Ah, uh, there must be some way. Okay, let's think. Hey, wait, I have an idea. What? Rick just asked me to the company reopening. Oh. You should ask me if he wants to go with you. We can all go together. I mean, ask him on a date? She's sure. Uh, like, that's not pushy. I, I think he's the kind of guy who'd hate. Pushy. Okay, right. Okay, well, don't tell him that it's a date. Tell him that it's a party with friends. And then we can all go together, and you can get to know each other better, and, mm. you know? Why not? Hey. I've been looking all over for you. I haven't had a lot of free time, Zachary. i got other things to handle. Yeah, I know I've been asking you a lot of questions, but I need to know. Is she the trouble you want me about? She's the girl you saw at the beach that day, isn't she? Yeah. It's amazing. I know. And it's killing me. Still. Be careful, Zachary. You've already rocked the boat more than once. This is very different. And this girl... You can't change the past, Zachary. You know that. That's not what this is about. Oh, no? Are you sure? Okay. That's what caught my attention at first, but... What's I'm... happening to you, Zachary? I don't know. Let it be. You can't allow anything to interfere with what you're here to do. And try to stay on course this time. And if I don't, what then? <laughs> no. No. Why no, not? Right. No, we're not working together. I mean, oh, it's hold on a minute. I'm no, what? Already, I mean, and you are, you're just, you're what? You're impatient. That's impatient? You yes, you're very impatient. And I'm methodical. I like to work my way through oh, the things. Oh, yeah, since slowly when? Slowly get everything done. Since now. We have a clock problem, too, you know. That we have. A yes, clock problem, We have yes. a clock problem. You stay up late, and I get Normal up early people. because I like yes, to Yes, you up get up at some ungodly hour. I want to get everything in the done morning, and right we then and there. all the time. All right, look. No, I, Quentin Chamberlain, promise to keep my temper and patience 
under wraps, all right? And I will, I will work by your clock, so I'll be bright-eyed and bushy-tailed every morning, and I swear I won't raise my voice. You made a promise before. Would you believe that I can't trust anyone with this fine but you? I might. I might believe, yes, I might believe that. And, and, and would you believe that this will give us an opportunity to get to know each other once again? Don't press your luck, mister. Oh, come on, Nola, I haven't exactly made it a secret that I want you back. Please? <clears throat> well, you are on the verge of a major fine, possibly the fine of your career, and I probably can't let you... You know, because of some midlife crisis you're going through, ruin that, I suppose. I suppose someone has to look out for your interests. I... What? You'll do it? You'll do it? Strictly business. Right. Strictly business. No monkey business. No monkey business cross my heart. Mr. Williams. In light of your confession, we're going to have to remand you to state custody pending charges. Bailiff? Your Honor, I'd be very grateful if I could spend a few moments alone with my son for a minute. Wait, forget it. It's not up to you, Mr. Robinson. Your Honor, Mr. Williams has wasted weeks of our time. He doesn't deserve special treatment. I realize I've handled this situation very poorly. Hindering the prosecution would fall into that category. I've heard a lot of people, Your Honor. But none more than that, that young man sitting right over there. If you could see your way, I'd appreciate a few moments alone with him. Bailiff, would you accompany Mr. Williams and his son please. into the attorney's room? I have nothing to say to you. Marcus, please. Just a few minutes. This Mr. Williams, uh, are you still in love with your ex-wife? Could you make a statement about her? Courage for Griffin to admit to what he did. I'm just grateful you didn't have to do it for him. Well, I never really thought I would. Come on, you were tossing and turning all night long. That was your enchiladas. <laughs> no, no, really, Red, I know my friend. I really do. And yes, he made some very bad decisions, but I was betting that his integrity would win out in the end. Well, you were right. It did. Imagine Griffin Williams shooting himself in the foot like that. Well, chest, I should say. <laughs> you obviously were not listening, my dear. You blamed your father for putting him up to it, with your help, of course. Well, bravo, father. Now, nothing can stop our project. Griffin Williams is only the laughing stock of the nation. Quiet, Amanda. Show a little respect. Griffin Williams put his life on the line for what he believed in. It's one of the bravest things I've ever seen a man do. I'll be right outside. Here, Dad. Whatever it is you have to say, say it. Marcus, I... 
I don't expect you to understand. I, I, I just, I just want to, I want to try to explain it to you. Well, you did a fantastic job of explaining out there, Dad. Very stellar job of explaining out there today. Yeah, for, yeah, for what I did. But not why it took me so long to say something. Marcus, the fact is I tried. But I couldn't. <laughs> why? Because I didn't want to hurt you. You could have died! Marcus, it wasn't supposed to happen that way. I sat at your bedside. Day after day after day after day. Praying that you were going to live, Dad. Praying that they were going to find the coward that did this to you. And there you were. There you were. In all your intensive care, glory making a fool out of me, Dad. There you were. I'm sorry. Can you explain one thing to me, please, Dad? Just one thing? Why, when you were shot in the heart, laying on the stretcher, why was the first thing you whispered in my ear Alan Spaulding's name? What the hell was that all about? Did you just want to shift the blame to him away from the coward responsible? No, Marcus, I didn't want to do that. Well, if you did, if that was why, you did a damn good Marcus, job, Dad. It happened so fast. I went to his house, Dad. I threatened him. I accused him. I threatened his life. I even had someone follow him, spy on him, Dad, because I was so sure that Alan Spaulding had my father shot. I, 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 said, I, did not, I didn't know that I said his name. If I did, it was only because that I blamed him for everything. You know, Dad, you're a hypocrite. You're not a hero. You're not a martyr. You are a lying coward. And you're a hypocrite. I love you, Marcus. That's not a lie. Tomorrow, when this hits the papers, you're gonna be the most hated man in North America. I think you know where I stand. Marcus. Please. Mr. Williams do it. I wish I knew, Dahlia. You know, I really thought Mr. Williams was different. I, I thought he loved his son. I think he does. Yeah, well, when you love your kids, you think of them first, right? Of course you do. So why didn't he? I mean, did he ever stop to think what this would do to Marcus? Dahlia, parents sometimes make mistakes. I cannot believe that you're having self shock It's unbelievable. Well, he thought he let us down. That's why he did it. Well, I'll say one thing for Griffin. He's got a good heart, doesn't he? Yeah, I've been down on myself. Done some pretty drastic things, but I mean, taking a bullet? It's, it's incredible. Well, what do you think about the idea of starting up a legal defense fund for, for Griffin? You think what he did was right? Well, I, I, I don't know. I just think the way he admitted to it in there j just says to us that he's the kind of man that we always thought he was. I agree. If we could just pay him back in some way, I, uh, I just think it would be a great thing. 10% of what talk? he's given us, you, you know. Why don't you talk to Ross? See if you can get a collection going. Whatever you need, let us know. Excuse me. <clears throat> we are still an us, you know. Is that right? Yes, that's right. So what do you say we go home and we talk about ourselves for a while? I don't think I could really do that right now. Right now? Why not? What's wrong with right now? I don't I got some pressing things. Like what? Where... Like I got a diner, I want to keep it open. What about getting back to loving each other? Being man and wife the way we're supposed to be? 
Isn't that pressing enough for you? I gotta get back to work. Oh, check it. Uh, how's the uh, volunteer work coming? It's great. You know, I love working with people. Yeah, I noticed that. Uh, I, I also noticed that you were talking to my sister. Well, yeah, we were uh, hanging out. She seems like a pretty terrific young lady. She is young. Seventeen. That's uh, underage, as a matter of fact. Yeah, I, I know that, Rick. Good. Because you must be, what, you must be in your 20s? So how are you guys getting along now that your father's gone? I mean, I think about Ed all the time when I'm working on the lighthouse. We miss him. Yeah, I'm sure. You know, he's doing very important research in Africa right now. Well, you guys must be very proud. We are. I wish he was here right now because Michelle's going through a very impressionable age. Well, she seems to have her head on pretty straight. Well, as a matter of fact, she's going through a rough time with a guy who took advantage of her. Are you talking about Jay? Yeah, that's the one. How'd you know? Well, I met him, and she told me a little bit about it. Well, him. he was interested in only one thing, so the burnout and I had a little talk, and I think we came to an understanding. I'm not going to let anybody hurt my sister like that again. You understand, right? Yeah, that's great. I mean, I think it's nice that she has a brother to protect her. You do? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, all of us need watching over her now and again. Yes, that's, uh, that is true. Besides, I mean, if you're not here to take care of the ones you love, why are you here? <laughs> You're right. Well, I gotta get back to work. Okay. Oh, hey, Michelle. Hey. I, uh, hope my brother wasn't boring you to death. <laughs> no, no, we were just talking about family. Um, I have a question for you. Okay, shoot. Would you like to go to, uh, company's reopening with me? You'll never regret this, Nora. Thank the you. The first sign of, 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 of anything, and I'm, I'm out of here. I swear, no trouble. I promise. Okay, we have to start with clean tools. After that, we have to start... All right, all right, here. I'll clean the I'll tools I'll take the up. tools and clean them up, all right? All right? Thank you, this Thank you. Too. Sorry things turned out the way they did, Griffin. I don't approve of your actions, but there is a part of me that understands. A part of all of us. I appreciate you coming forward, Griffin. For Vivian's sake. Excuse me. Griffin Williams, you're under arrest for criminal solicitation, conspiracy, hindering the prosecution, and fraud. Oh. You have the right to remain silent and refuse to answer questions. Do you understand? Anything you say may be used against you in a court of law. Do you understand? You have the right to consult an attorney before speaking to the police and to have an attorney present during any questioning now or in the future. Um, in case you're wondering, Rick and Abigail are going to the restaurant, too. Y you know, I, I thought that we could, you know, hang out, Enjoy some good food, listen to some music, you know. Maybe you could even meet some of my friends. Be careful, Zachary. You've already rocked the boat more than once. You can't allow anything to interfere with what you're here to do. So, what do you think? Can you go? 
sure, yeah. Um, I'd love to go with you, Michelle. Great. 